Good evening. It's been two days since a rally of supporters for President Trump in Washington, D.C. turned into riots and people breaking into the U.S. Capitol building. Today, defense leaders say they are reviewing current restrictions on the use of force by National Guard members as they brace for more protests and possible violence leading up to the inauguration. As tensions remain high, Kelly Landslor and Solik gives us a look at what the nation's capital looks and feels like today. Following the Capitol Hill mobs on Wednesday, Josh Sorby, a South Dakotan now living in Washington, D.C., says the city now has a quietness to it that feels confusing. Like the night of there were a ton of police sirens and helicopter noises, and then we woke up on Thursday, it's like an almost normal day, and it's almost as if um, like the serious, like the gravity of what happened hasn't settled in yet. He says it's left some citizens wondering where the repercussions are for those involved with the rioting. It's treated as if like it's not this momentous occasion the next day, whereas when a Target was looted and other businesses during the summer, um, D.C. shut down for a whole week. Like it just shows that there's like two criminal justice systems in the U.S. with like a probable cause for arrest for white Americans and then like a probable cause for arrest for everyone else. And it's it's really frustrating. With just a little under two weeks before the presidential inauguration of President-elect Joe Biden, Sorby says there are some nerves in Washington, D.C. Like I think the next 13, like 12, 13 days are going to be um, very telling as to um, what the safety of America is going to look like for the year to come. Um, I think there's a lot of angst around, especially with um, people traveling in for the inauguration too, um, what, like whether it's virtual or in person or what the actual programming looks like. I think the new, the next two weeks are going to be pretty intense. Like many, Sorby is hoping the inauguration goes smoothly and the city he now calls home stays safe. Lauren Solik, Kelolian News. We talked with Sorby on Wednesday night following the violent protests. To hear from him what it was like that night in the nation's capital, visit Kelloland.com.